Brain Heart Initiative is a really umbrella title for a number of projects that are all aimed at the same thing, improving medical care for clients with serious mental illness. Eight years ago, I came to Canada, and for the first six and a half years, things were fine, things went smoothly. I was on Prozac, a very well-known um, antidepressant. Uh, but after about six and a half years, things got rocky and the medication stopped working. When I finally met with Valerie for the first time, I was so relieved. She came to me because she had really struggled with depression and the fact that the only treatments that worked for her caused significant weight gain and were starting to lead to type 2 diabetes. To her it felt like she had to choose between which chronic illness she wanted to manage. We've started linking clients discharged from CAMH to community providers who are skilled in issues around management of obesity, type 2 diabetes, other chronic illnesses that we know individuals with mental health suffer from even more than the general population. With Valerie's connections uh, in the community, I have uh, suddenly so many more options uh, to go to the Wharton Clinic and be supported with my weight loss. Approximately 20% of our patients suffer with mental illness here at the Wharton Medical Clinic. So it's a, so to us, that's, that's a significant number. The MPA and CAMH will be able to work on the mental health aspects of the patient, so they do that best. And then we will work on the heart aspects, the cardiometabolic issues. And so as, as an internal medicine clinic, we do that aspect best. And so this combination really works out well for the patient, it works out well for the physicians. It's an overall positive um, combination. I'm happier, I've lost 65 pounds being on medication that actually helps me so we were able to to cover both problems at the same time um, I feel that I finally have a health team and these community providers will help support both psychiatry and primary care to help ensure that patients receive the proper medical care and as a consequence start to decrease this 10 to 15 year life expectancy decrease that we know individuals with mental health issues experience purely related to medical complications.